This is episode 46 of the Online Playmaker Sessions with top affiliates and veteran bloggers Ace and Rich. Welcome to the Online Playmaker Sessions. This is the place for the latest What's Working Now strategies from the best online playmakers, the top marketers, the rising stars who are making it happen right now. Every week, you'll get real, actionable lessons that you can take and apply immediately in your business, delivered in short 20-minute sessions. Our focus is your results. Here's your host, entrepreneur, world-class trainer, and marketing strategist, Norbert Orlowitz. Hello, online playmakers. If this is your first time tuning into the Playmaker Sessions, thank you for choosing us. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. And if you prefer video, our YouTube channel at onlineprofitplaybook.tv. As with all of our episodes, we have all the show notes, transcripts, and actionable tips over on the blog. Just head over to www.onlineprofitplaybook.com. You'll also be able to get access to my complimentary five-video tutorial series on building the proper foundation for your online business, as well as several other free trainings, including my Instant Income Multiplier tutorial. And if you're ready to multiply your results fast, check out the premium membership of our online profit playbook, where our guests open up their closely guarded playbooks and walk you step by step through the exact marketing funnels and sales process they use to build their audience, grow their influence, and make sales. Get the coveted online profit playbook today. Just head over to onlineprofitplaybook.com and join the playmakers. Anastasia Haldridge and Rich Guzman, known as Ace and Rich, are a power couple in the internet marketing and blogging niches. In less than five months, this dynamic duo has quickly climbed up the ranks in their company as top super affiliates. Anastasia's expertise is blogging, SEO, social networking, recruiting, public speaking, video marketing, as well as one-to-one coaching. Rich's expertise is SEO, lead generation, solo ads, email marketing, personal development, and video marketing. What's unique about Ace and Rich is their high energy personal coaching and a proven track record of helping many students and personal clients who've never made a sale on the internet to earning thousands in affiliate commissions. Since 2008, they have been consistently providing value to the marketplace through their helpful training videos, personal development, and one-on-one coaching experiences. This week's Online Playmakers, Ace and Rich. All right, welcome back, everybody. This is number 46 of the Online Playmaker Sessions, and today I'm bringing to you our special guests, Ace and Rich, expert bloggers from Massachusetts. Ace and Rich, how are you guys doing today? Doing great. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Awesome. I'm excited to have you here. Uh, I've been I've been watching what you guys have been doing online. Uh, I know you've been having some some pretty incredible results in the last year. Kind of a breakthrough year for you. And uh, I'm really excited to learn. You know what you've been doing online. What's been working for you? What's working right now in your business? And really helping some of the some of the viewers and the listeners that are um, that are going to be joining us here today, um, helping them to maybe simplify their business to really create some results. And specifically, I know we're going to talk a lot about blogging because that's been one of the main things you guys have been focused on. Now, guys, we got to go back a little bit here. Let's go back to the beginnings. You guys have an interesting story of how you met and kind of both got started online. So let's take a few minutes and share with us your, your backstory and how you guys got started in this industry. Okay. Um, basically, I started in 2008 um, with internet marketing, marketing online, and I just was intrigued. I got started and um, once I started learning just the basics of understanding internet marketing, I met you, right? And uh, met a few people in the industry. Yeah. And just started um, just learning the basic skill sets, but as things were were going along, things were good for a while, and then things turned you know downhill for a while, and um, ended up traveling New Jersey, meeting somebody very beautiful, and then we got together, and uh, we she was a traditional network marketer, so <laughs> I was teaching her a few things like um, why are you going out and prospecting. <laughs> 
you know? <laughs> oh, so you had to you had to convert her over to the uh, to the online, the dark side at that time. The dark side, yeah. Oh yeah. So she started um, learning a few things, and uh, we got together, and you know, we were just friends, and just it turned into a relationship, and still to this day, just still showing her stuff, you know, educating her. Um, I'm always educating myself and just learning always new things, and um, we just um, you just put our heads together and build on our strengths, you know. Yeah. Yes, uh, and that, that's always it's always interesting for me to speak with a couple um, to see how you guys how you guys you know kind of grow your business together how you use both of your strengths now uh, moving along here jumping back into it what I want to what I want to talk about first because um, you mentioned it rich that you're you kind of had some initial success and then things went downhill I'm kind of curious about that um, what happened what 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 did you have success with and what happened that your business went downhill because I think it's really important to understand that sometimes there's ups and downs in our business and we might have some success but then there's challenges that come up so let's let's talk about what happened there well I'll tell you it really is tied to a valuable lesson that I learned um, through that journey because what happened was I got involved in this company and we were growing very very fast and uh, the company was supposed to dish out some additional products and they didn't and uh, I had a downline over 4,000 people, and it was great. And things were, you wow. know, I, I, would, I got talk, to talk on stage in Vegas and train some people on video marketing, all this fun stuff. And then, you know, it just from there it crashed and burned. And I was very disappointed. Um, but there's one thing that I didn't do that I should have done, and this is for everybody out there: um, always build your list. Because I thought, because I was on top, that I didn't really need a list, right? <laughs> And I was like, oh, I'll make it money. I'm fine. I'm free. I'm traveling. Everything is great. No, the most valuable lesson I learned, the list is everything. It's, it's like, I get it now. Even like a traditional business, I, I get what a list is. And uh, that's one thing that I hope nobody ever does is just get rid of their list because that's not all over again. And yeah, that was that the amazing part. part. That's that's awesome. And uh, those are valuable lessons, you know, that we can pass on with other people so they don't make the same mistakes. And for me, it's really kind of understanding the fundamentals of a successful business and a successful business online. And because I've seen that story so many times, you know, people run into a good opportunity, they have a few good breaks, and all of a sudden they're making a ton of money, but then things change. You know, we've got the Google AdWords slap, the SEO, you know, the penguin updates that happen with, with the Google search results. And, you know, Facebook right now might be working for some people, but then they change, you know, their terms and conditions or, or their platform a little bit. So you've always got to have the fundamentals in place. And, and like you said, you know, building an email list, that's one of the fundamentals. And, um, you know, you want to give yourself security in your business. You, you got to have those things in place. Big lesson, big lesson. All right, um, so let's talk a little bit about um, how you guys got together, started started working. How did you utilize your your strengths? Um, you know, what 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 are the things that that Ace works on, and what are the things that Rich works on in your business? Okay, okay. so I'm the so kind of I'm the kind of in the background. So I put the blog together. The blog together. I watch. I watch. watch. You know, all the actions on the blog. Um, she's the content writer because my strength was always doing videos and connecting with somebody um her strength was like writing right she can write really good and uh so we put those two into it together and we created a challenge for ourselves and i said hon this is what we're going to do we are going to start blogging every single day for the first two years non-stop <laughs> okay i don't care what it takes we're yep. just going to do it and that's it um so that's what we did and i said okay let's bump it up this third month let's do two blog posts a day Let's get more keywords out there. So we were like driving a machine for a while. And, you know, we weren't really getting much results. We just looked at the long-term picture, right? Yeah. Um, and we just, we knew where it was going to be at. And we just kept focused and kept focused, kept focused. Her writing has gotten better. Oh, gosh, yeah. um, Because writing, <laughs> writing a review or blog is different from just writing. Yes. So she learned so many different skill sets, yep. you know, taking different courses. In the beginning, I had to push her, you know, to, to do courses because... Oh, well, he got on my ass. <laughs> I had to literally <laughs> listen to him and stop fighting him with, you know, having to do the content because it was a new skill set for me and I had to be consistent. So I'm not used to that. Yeah. So when I was doing it, I was just, what am I doing this for? <laughs> you, know, you know, you don't expect nothing. You know, I said, we're doing this. Don't expect anything. Yep. Trust me. Let's just do it for a few years and let's just, just do it. And that's what happens. So what I would do is I would track the results. I would track like how many clicks I get from the call to actions on the blog post. Mm -hmm. And I could tell from what, I, I got it down to a science that I could tell what keyword was the one that was producing money. 
And the funny thing is, out of all those keywords, only a few were producing actual sales. But you don't know until you actually put in that massive action. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it is, and I, I love, I love what you, what you said there because there's, you're giving some hints about. Um, about mindset and you know your approach to business and and unfortunately and I'm sure you can see this with the students that you know that you work with as well now um, most people don't have that long-term vision when they get into this industry you know yeah. here you said we're gonna do a blog post every day for the next two years and we're not even looking at the results yet yeah now that's that's a that's a mind mindset right there that unfortunately you know most marketers don't have because they want quick quick results right so how do you how do you approach your students and your clients you know when you when you get into you know teaching them how to blog and creating content how do you get their mindset you know set around the right expectations for what it's going to take to be successful in this industry I kind of just really just tell them like it is. I don't kind of I don't like the whole thing back. We real. Yeah. I don't one like thing is our back. motto when we meet them. We go, listen, guys, we ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing. We're not gonna cut no corners. It's gonna like take it work. <laughs> it's gonna take work, and it's gonna take a lot of work. Yeah. But you gotta be consistent, and I want you to not expect anything for the first year. Yeah, exactly. And we did an extra year on top of that. Mm -hmm. Now we could you know do a blog post once or twice a week, be more selective on the keywords because we got to that point. But in the beginning, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. We just had a conversation with some students yesterday about solo ads. I was like, you guys don't understand. You guys complain about solo ads, but why is it working for us and not working for you? Mm -hmm. It's because we're number one consistent and, you know, we were taught to fish. So we're out there fishing now. We're actually getting new solo ad vendors and we're learning how to be more consistent on the traffic that's flowing into the funnel. So that's another important lesson. Don't expect anything in return for that either when you're just first getting going because it just takes the consistency. Now that's that, that's another. I mean, another marketing strategy. There's solo ads, completely different from blogging. Okay. Yeah. And you know, solo ads. We see a lot of testimonials online. You know, I bought a solo ad. I got you know 100 leads and five sales, and I made five thousand dollars in profit. And so people have these expectations. Oh well, I'm just going to buy some solo ads and I'm going to make money. So and and again, now you having experience with solo ads and, and helping your clients with that as well. What are some of the key things that help you guys to have success with solo ads, whereas most people struggle? I think that's really important to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is very important, guys. When I test solo ads, I don't just throw money out the door like that. Um, I usually start off with like 200 clicks to test, and then if I like what I see, even if I don't get a sale, but I get a good amount of leads, I'll go to 500 clicks. And if I start getting a sale from that, I'll, you know, I'll scale it up to a thousand clicks to 2000 clicks. That's how I, you know, do that portion. But even though you do that, what I realized, it's all about the offer. If you don't have the right offer in place for that, it's mm. not going to convert. And, and thankfully, you know, we partnered up with, you know, with the company that we're part of and we, we focus on conversions and what really works with conversions. So it's not really about what you're putting out there. It's more about the conversion. Like how is it going to convert? And we have the right offer in place to do that. So right now I'm in the process of scaling that. And it, it, it's amazing when you have the right offer because it's everything. And not everybody can really do the offer. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's, it takes that skill set. And, and with the offer, I mean, did you create your own offer, your own products and services? Or uh, you, you said you, you partnered with, so you're, you're promoting an affiliate program or an affiliate marketing system. Exactly. It's part of the affiliate marketing system. And for me, I was looking And it's just a matter of... And is it, is it just a matter of testing different offers and seeing what's converting in the marketplace? Because that changes all the time as well. Oh, God, yes. yes. It's forever changing. Yeah. And, and I think that what separates us from more conversions for us, you know, as far as scaling the income back end sales, is because everyone that we come in contact with, we grab the email, uh, we, we look for them on Facebook, we look for them on Skype, wherever we can find them yeah. and open up that dialogue that relationship and do video conferencing together, 15 minute, 20 minute meet and greet, you know, how you doing? You know, we're Ace and Rich, you know, uh, this is what we do. Want to know more about you? Where have you been in the industry? What have you done in the past? Yeah. Are you new? Things like that. And they love it. They, they really love do. it. And I think that's what really tightens that bond up, that relationship. And, you know, people end up just upgrading and, you know, building a long term established relationship. Oh, I love, I love that. I love that. So right now I've pulled out three key things that you guys are doing. Number one, you're blogging, you're creating content on a regular basis. Um, and so you're getting some traffic, you know, you're getting, you're building an audience through that. 
Uh, number two, you're, you're, you're doing solo ads, which is a great way to, you know, boost your lead flow. Um, you know, really create, really create some lead flow though, because you can generate hundreds of leads, um, you know, on a daily basis, weekly basis. So that can really help to boost your business. But then I love this third part that you're doing here where you're making that personal connection. How important do you think a personal connection is in this internet age? Because we all want automated systems, right? Automated sales. We want to sit on the beach, click some buttons and make money. How important do you feel that that personal connection is in business today? I think it's more important than when we first got started. I mean, back in 2008, it was a lot easier to just, you know, go through a funnel and people would just come in and boom, we got sales left and right. It's not it was, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it was, wasn't awesome, it? <laughs> now, people have got a little bit smart. Like, you know, they're, they're looking for something more real, something more tangible. And I think it's always boils down to the relationship and you are the one that's in charge. It's never the company. It's really, they, they follow you. So when you actually put yourself out there and you connect with people and you say, hey, this is who we are. And like you were talking about earlier, like how do we coach people? We just tell them the truth. We're very transparent yeah, we just, and we, we interact with Skype video, which is very powerful for that human interaction and building that communication with them and that trust factor because the next conversation, we let them know this is not a one-time thing. You're with us for life. Yeah. That's it. You know, if you need help, reach out to us. If you're having a bad day, reach out to us. This yeah. is where we come in with our coaching experience and we offer our time and we help you get through those bad days when you feel like you don't want to do nothing, exactly. you know, and you want to move forward so you can be into production mode. And when I learned yeah. from you, every week we do a um, hot seat coaching call. Oh, yeah. In other words, we answer people's questions because they all have problems, right? So we're there to provide the solutions to those problems. It's like we learn, you know. I learned from you. <laughs> so basically, that's what we do every single week. And people are, are you know, they show up. But if they don't show up, if they complain, we tell them, okay, we can't help you if you don't show up. Exactly. You know what I mean? But then more and more people start to show up now because we've been consistent. You see, everything that we do, it seems like no matter what the result is, I know this sounds kind of weird. I don't really care. I, all I know is I just want to be consistent. All I know is I just want to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And for some reason, it's just we have this graph line just it just keeps going up and i mean it's, as far as business yes. yeah and that's and i mean that is that is really it i mean the results kind of take care of themselves if you're if you're consistent if you're yeah. constantly out there in the marketplace if you're there for your for your audience for your prospects and also for your customers and clients i think that's a big big lesson to learn um, all right. Now I know both of you do, uh, you know, you coach with people, you've been working in this industry for a while now. What do you see are some of the big challenges, um, that people face, um, or some big mistakes that people make when they first come online and they, they, they're trying to get their online business off the ground. You want, you want a list of it? Cause you know, I could, I could go through a list of it. so many of them, but the primary one, the number one fear that I have dealt with when I'm coaching somebody is fear of failure yeah that is yeah. a big one and mm -hmm. the way we handle that is well you know how do you know if you're going to succeed if you don't even try yeah you know don't worry about it i, I tell them don't even worry about it because mm -hmm. um, i've been there and i'm like guys just don't even worry about failing i mean failing is part of the process and you know don't even care about it yeah you know? just, just take yeah. massive imperfect action yeah. just do it imperfectly who cares if you mess up or fumble people can relate to that because then it'll give up your potential client like, oh, I can do it better than you. That's you a good example. Yeah, yeah, I can do it better than you. Let me do a video, you know, a video marketing. Let me go ahead and mess up a video one or two. Oh, you know? hey, I, I used to care <laughs> in the beginning like how my videos were. And now I just don't care if it's imperfect because we just created a boot camp for our list. And, you know, I don't think the videos are great. But you know what? It's us. And right. you, what you see is what you get. That's right. And I think people will resonate with you if you're just yourself. In the beginning, I try to be like somebody else. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I try like to be that, all perfect, you know, you know and have was, the proper lighting, the best it. camera. Yeah, no, that's not you, it. That is get a not phone. It. It's the consistency, be yourself, and, yeah. and, uh, and just take action. I think that's really, and I've heard it before, and it just, it just makes more sense now. It does. You know? Yeah, and, and I mean, you guys are a perfect testament to that because you've been consistent over the years. You've been doing activities constantly, consistently over the years and, and, and building and growing your business as a, as a result of that. Okay, so let's talk about, um, people always ask me daily method of operations. You know, what should I be doing? I, I see so many people online, they're always, 
they, they, they seem so busy. Like there's so many things to do in your online business, right? But I think what the challenge is, is a lot of marketers aren't focusing on the right activities. Okay. So if you were to, to share a daily missions or weekly method of operations, what activities should we be doing on a daily and weekly basis to move our business forward? What are the, what are the activities that we should be doing that are going to make the biggest difference in our business? Okay, you have to have a balance, okay? Um, you definitely want to do paid marketing and free marketing. But depending on your goals, some people have different circumstances. So if someone doesn't have much of a budget, um, understand that you're going to build this long term, period. There's no way out of it. It's not going to happen. It's not. Um, and that's just being realistic. I would set a plan for the next couple of years like we did. You know, we didn't have mon money at the time. We didn't have that. any money at the time. We so did this with no, no marketing budget, we're talking, just no list. Hammer that blog every single day, you know, for two years, and then add another extra year on top of that, and, and challenge yourself. That's why we did like two blog posts a day for like a month, yeah. and then we did it again, you know, a few months after, just to just bump it up. How bad we wanted it, we knew we knew where it was going to go, right? Um, but if you have a budget, then I would just learn to drive traffic, whether it's Facebook, whether it's you know Google, whether it's YouTube ads, whether it's it doesn't matter. Just pick one source. And for us, for blogging in the beginning, it was one thing and one thing only we focused oh, right. on. We didn't focus on anything else because we knew as soon as I would do something else, we even dropped like, you know, YouTube. But like, oh, you know what? It's just getting crazy again. Let's just focus on the blog. Let's master this one subject. Let's figure out how to generate leads with it. Let's figure out how we can. Now we're like learning about conversions, right? So it's always the one thing we're focusing on. And before you know it, you got this going, this going, this going. But everybody feels when they first see it, it's like, okay, I got to do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Wow. You don't. You really, really don't. And some systems now, I mean, it's got. There's some things that's gotten more simpler online to build now, versus the way when we first got started with the HTML pages and uh, try to break that. Remember down. Dream? Remember Dreamweaver? <laughs> oh, I remember Dreamweaver. Oh yeah. Oh god, it's a nightmare. Uh, just to make pages was a pain in the butt. But now, All the systems. Tools. Yeah. So if, you're, if you're if you're part of the right system, they will offer the right you know, uh, conversion, you know, funnel for you. Yeah. And all you gotta do is just drive the traffic. The system will even follow up for you as you're learning how to follow up with your own leads, right? And truth be told, this is exactly what we do. We have a system and when we run cold traffic, we let the system follow up. But when we run um, our blog and our, you know, Facebook, uh, we follow up, right? So we're building a successful business and we're also learning advanced key uh, skill sets at the same time. So we're leveraging our business by letting this be automated, but at the same time, we're oh, also focusing on to do other things to keep growing. So we're learning from this automation method and applying it to our business, which is really, really cool. So just focus on one key element, whether it's paid marketing or whether it's a free marketing strategy, just do one thing, expect nothing in return for the first couple of years. And that's just how we do awesome. it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Now, I know you guys are, are kind of stepping up in your business right now as well. You're working. Is this your first course that you're working on right now? Yeah, it's in the skeleton state. We're in the research phase right now. So yeah. it's, uh, it's, 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 it's scary. uncomfortable. <laughs> it's the scariest thing we've ever done. Yeah. But it's way cool because this is what we need as entrepreneurs to stretch ourselves. And yeah. you know what? You should never be afraid to be stretched because that's just showing that you're growing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So now creating creating your own info product, your own training, your own training course. Um, you know, you're going into so, to something that you've never done before. What are some of the challenges that you're you're facing with that? Let's talk about those. I'm always interested in the challenges. <laughs> well, understanding like the bonuses, like how to, how to work with bonuses. We don't know, right? It's our first. Yeah. So how do we you know line up the bonuses and how do we structure the different levels of like upsells and things like that? Um, for us, that's a challenge that we don't understand that. Those are the things that we're actually looking into right now. Yeah. And that's awesome. And that's creating that's creating the offer, which is which is always the most important thing. Whenever you're creating your own your own uh, training product, you've always got to start with the offer first and then kind of work backwards. So it's great that you guys are are are, are you know focusing on that on that area. Awesome. Yeah. Any right. any other challenges? Um that's really where we are right now. Um <laughs> You know, just figuring out the different levels of, um, you know, the upsells and things like that. I think the content part, the content part of it's going to be real good because, um, you know, I have a lot of old content I've done over the years with blogging that I can repurpose and nice. I can put into the product and then just, you know, beef it up a bit yeah. with more updated info about blogging, you know, and SEO and keyword research and like put that in there for 
key bloggers when they're first starting out, what is important, what they should be doing, and how things should be laid out when they're blogging. Yeah, I think one of the bonuses we're going to do is kind of give them our process on how we pick the keywords, because I think that's very, very important. Yeah. People, people, you know, I, I won't give a sneak peek here, but I would say that, you know, low-hanging fruit is always the best, you know, more volume um, until you can get to a certain point that you can get more, um, more competitive keywords. Yes. You know? Good one. Yeah. Good. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Good tip. Good tip. Um, all right. So let's let's wrap this up. We're coming up to the end here. What I'd love for you guys to do is just leave our viewers, leave our listeners with three key tips. So we've got people listening right now. They want to create a breakthrough in the next 90 days. They want to create a breakthrough in their business, um, whether they're just getting started or maybe they're, they've hit a plateau. What can they do with three key things they should be focusing on to create that breakthrough in their business over the next 90 days? I would focus on either finding or creating an offer that's going to convert. That's number one. And then number two, um, you know, run some ads and, you know, just, just do it. I mean, just, just run some ads and, and just be consistent with it. And um, also when you follow up, build that relationship, even if you're on video, it doesn't matter. Just be yourself. And then um, and when it comes when to the relationship, I'm going to elaborate on that third tip. Make sure that even if it's the lowest cost to come in, like we follow even with our $1 trials. Yeah. Every $1 trial that comes in is valuable yeah. because that's a potential upgrade. And we've never been wrong. We have been successful because of that. So don't underestimate your dollar trial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was asked, actually, I was asked this question, you know, um, you know, Rich, we're only getting dollar trials. What's the big deal? And I'm like, while you're focusing on worrying about dollar trials, I'm focusing on how, how I can many get more, more we can get. <laughs> And, you know, I mean, that's a mindset, you know, it is. so just focus on, you know, just generating leads as, as much as possible. And when you follow up, be personable. I mean, yeah. just get, out, get together with them whatever way you can and, and make yourself real to people. I guarantee you a year later, your, your business will just be growing. I love that. I mean, we always, we always, yeah, we always say that the fortune is in the follow-up. And, and I mean, that's really what I'm getting from both of you is, you know, you've got these automated systems in place. You've got this marketing in place. You're bringing in the leads. You know, you, you're leveraging these systems. But in the end, it's the follow-up and the relationships that are really going to create the sales and the income. That's what I'm getting from you guys. Yes, yeah. exactly. That, that really is a big picture because when we just got back from Maui, uh, we developed the, the, the even stronger relationships now. Mm-hmm all hanging out together and we learned a lot from each other people from all and, over uh, the world from london to south africa traveled yeah. all the way to Maui to our retreat and when we saw them in person it was like a family yeah and we started that and you know we continue to grow it for our company's culture that's what we want is everybody to feel like we can help each other out you know and we're not that whole competition feeling you know i've talked yeah. about that before in inner circle yeah where we talk about working together as a family, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. I'm going to help you because in order for me to be successful, I got to help you become successful and then the company becomes successful. Yeah. Love it. I love it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys uh, both being here and, and sharing with us your, your experience, um, your knowledge, you know, being in this industry for, for quite some time now, quite a few years, working with so many people around the world and, and creating results, creating success. Uh, I wish you a lot of luck uh, with creating your course. Uh, definitely let us know when that is launched. Uh, really looking forward to that. Um, congratulations on that as well. Uh, so just a big thanks for being here. Really appreciate it and appreciate everything you're doing in the industry. Thank you so much. Well, appreciate you for having us. Thank you so much, Norbert. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome. Awesome. My pleasure. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you got some great tips out of it. And like I say, in the end of every single episode, what you want to do is take action on what you learn. Take one or two things that you learn here today, apply it in your business and start getting results. And of course, if you're our premium member, you're going to want to tune into our premium case study session with Ace and Rich. Uh, they're going to be opening up their computer and actually walking us through one of their processes here to generate leads, uh, to get traffic, generate leads and make sales. So definitely want to make sure you check that as part of our premium membership. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed the episode. We will see you next week for another edition of the Online Playmaker Sessions. Everybody take care. I hope you enjoyed this week's Playmaker Session. If you love the session, subscribe now to our YouTube channel so you never miss our weekly episodes. Be sure to also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Just type in Online Playmakers in the search bar and click subscribe and be sure to leave a five-star review. 
All of the episodes, show notes, transcripts, resources, and bonuses are available on the blog over at onlineprofitplaybook.com, along with several bonus free tutorials I've created for you as well. Your fast track to results is to follow the playmakers. You can download their closely guarded playbooks and follow them step by step to grow your influence, build your audience, and create results in your business right now. Head over to onlineprofitplaybook.com and join the playmakers to get full access today. Thank you again for joining us today and be sure to tune in next week as we bring you another power-packed session with the top playmakers online. This is Norbert Orlowitz signing off.